What's going on, everybody? And welcome to Oscar Ramos. Welcome to the live. And well, Crypto Pump. <laughs> this is insane, everybody. Yes, look at this. What we're seeing right now on the screen. Hey, 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 dude, Crypto. What's going on, buddy? Let's have fun, shall we? Let's have fun and talk about what happened today. Of course, um, insane since the moment I woke up. I mean, it was just garbage. Like it was working. Probably you guys were busy and. I mean, the news never stop, and I mean, it's um, is the world we live in, right? A bunch of different oh, crypto yeah. stuff. Oscar Ramos in the house, NF. Oscar Ramos in the house. There you go, my man. Thank you very much. Kicking off the live with a first super chat. Is there any way to top that off? <laughs> hey, NF, thank you, my man. I appreciate it, and welcome aboard. This is our time for us to talk and have a great discussion when it comes to price analysis predictions news and opportunities right and i'm here to be the voice for your concerns with many different cryptocurrencies in this case i want to talk about shiva inu croco and a little bit tectonic and apecoin and many more guys like can't believe it i've been discussing for a while already on some and um this is a huge pump what you're seeing right now on the screen this is waves now probably you've never heard of waves it's a blockchain that is kicking Crocoin's butt on uh, on the TVL. It's on the EFI Lama. I'm not invested on waves. I'm just showing it to you because just look at this massive pump, right? Uh, completely destroyed everyone today, waves. At $47, I'm using my four hour on the Fibonacci Bollinger Bands. And you're seeing how it destroyed every expectation. And right now it's at the red. I'm not saying to buy whales, uh, waves. What I'm saying is that this is the cryptocurrency that had the highest uh, return today. And uh, it's being known that it's going to, you know, it's being known that it uh, completely collapses later on, completely collapses later on. But anyone here on waves, I'd love to hear from you guys. Hey, Shannon, Fernando, Slim, what's going on? John, Crypto, Cash. Brandon White and Holiday, happy to have you here, everybody. Let's go. People say that Bitcoin will still go down to 20K, and this is just a bull trap. What's your opinion on that, Pabin? I, I, I don't think that it's going to happen, and here's the reason why. Um, that, I think that's a great question for our, for our purposes, right? Because we're seeing a nice bull uh, increase in the price, a bull feeling, bull sentiment, which I highly agree for. I love it. Um, because Bitcoin right now, we're not seeing the low of 2021, which is under $29,000. And we went just over $48,000 right now. We're at 47. I'm not, not really positive that we're going to see, um, that 20 K if we first need to be destroying that 29 K to actually get to 20 K, uh, from everything that I've seen, it doesn't look that way. Because we've been consolidated at that price, and I think that we are really out of that zone. I think we're really out. Doesn't mean that we cannot continue uh, correcting the price, but um, in my opinion, I think definitely Bitcoin has to be out of those 20s and 30s by now, in my opinion. But that's a good question. And in the case that we actually go down to the 20K, what an amazing uh, day for me because right now, I don't know if you guys, but I haven't been able to buy a lot of different uh, cryptocurrencies. Um, so if I find them at a cheaper price, well, believe me that I'm going to take the opportunity to do that. What's going on, Juan? Happy to have you here. Mario, what's up? I know Dolce also did very well. So there's a bunch of different cryptocurrencies, guys. This is just a chill live on Monday night. And I'm very excited for the entire cryptocurrency market, everybody. Honestly, this is Shiba Inu. I like Shiba Inu. It is the only uh, meme coin that I have that I own in my portfolio. I don't have any other one. I don't even have Dogecoin per se. And Shiba Inu right now, the five-minute uh, view, we're seeing how today in the morning, it really did a number. Look at this, guys. In the morning, we saw a nice increase in price. I'm going to bring my price here. Four zeros twenty nine. A lot of people were really happy with Shiva Inu today. Where is the Shiva Inu army? Are we have? Do we have the Shiva Inu in the house right now? Shiva army awake. 
Bam. Um, let me tell you something. Shiva Inu is always awake. You want you want proof for that? Here it is, the proof for that. And the reason why is that um, Shiva Inu, everybody, you and I know, it's a cryptocurrency that it does have value, that it does have uh, utility, and it's growing. It's not like it's the best at, at utility. It is not. We are seeing ApeCoin completely destroying all the charts, and they're just barely new in the in the crypto space. Uh, but Shiva Inu is one from the community, built by the community. I'm not saying that Ape is not by the community, but it's already they have millions of dollars in their pockets. Shiva Inu, that wasn't the case. And I've seen Shiva Inu, of course, struggling to uh, get out there, token burns and all of that. Whereas ApeCoin, they don't need token burns because they have a fantastic tokenomics. So Shiva Inu is awake. <laughs> How about you, everybody? Um, 2.13 trillion in the cryptocurrency space. I love it, guys. Honestly, there's no need for me to say it, but this is exactly why I personally am not I'm, I'm not selling anything at this time. And I'll, of course, uh, keep it transparent and I'll, I'll tell you when I'm selling. But at this time, I haven't like I haven't sell. I haven't sold any of my positions in the last three months because, well, the we were down and right now we're barely getting up. There's no point in it for me to sell. Santa Fe Mike in the house. What's going on, my man? Galveston County in the house. Shiba Army. Santa Fe, welcome, my man. Six months. You are one of those few. Bro, thank you so much for your kind donations. Thank you so much for your amazing support. You are the MVP. Fear and Greed Index, guys. It is very exciting for me to tell you that we are great in the week and in the day and in the now. Uh, something that I knew it was going to come. I told you multiple times and I knew it, right? That we were going to be in this case, that we were going to be in the grid, that we were going to be feeling those amazing feelings. Because you guys remember, I'm going to bring my market right now. Where is it? Because I got, oh, here it is. Got a bunch of different, got a bunch of, of different extensions of all my wallets, guys. It's insane, right? You guys remember when we, when we were right here and right here and right here? And I'm like, you better be taking advantage when it's bloody red on the streets. Bloody red on the streets. When everybody thinks it's a scam and you're talking about a good project like Cardano, like I'm talking, like Algorand, like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like Crocon, like Binance, like, like Polkadot, like Solana. That's when you and I should be going full force. Because once we're back here, guys, this is nothing. This is nothing, right? We're, we're going to be going back full force, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing amazing prices, and I'll be ready for it. There you go. Back to the prices. So, yeah, I mean, oh, you sold sheep for crow. That's not bad. I like it. It's not bad. So uh, it's a good Monday morning uh, for us today. I uh, woke up. I saw the prices. Everything was so elevated. Everything was so up. I'm like, man. What an amazing time to be a cryptocurrency investor. That's exactly what I say today, right? What do we have for Crocoin, everyone? Well, today for Crocoin in the five-minute view, what are we seeing right now is that we pumped, baby, to 50 cents. Uh, this happened right after I posted my, my video today. Uh, we're looking at this. Let me bring my prices. Here's the highest price today. The highest price in about months. 50 cents finally at around 2 15 p.m 50 cents so what happened today with crocon we had the uh the um what was katie new senior vice president of engagement coming in supporting in singapore chris the ceo then we have the investopia summit in dubai um something that crypto.com is going to be supporting so that's not bad um, I'm so bullish on, 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 on this cryptocurrency. I do think that this 50 cents basically barely on the grid, not even on outcome season. In my opinion, I think I'm not wasting my time, right? That's, that's actually what I, what I think. Plus, uh, I actually want to tell you something, guys. I do want to tell you something that I did today uh, in Kronos. I m completely revamped my entire D5 um, assets. I had some pool, uh, had some, um, what, what do you call it? Uh, liquidity pools 
on BVS Finance and uh, I changed everything for the BVS vaults. And I, I, instead of staking, I'm sorry, instead of doing the pool, I, I, I'm doing a tectonic staking only. So I did a quite a bit of uh, changes that I'm going to be sharing you guys later on for the, uh, for new videos. And uh, probably later today, I'll, I'll go ahead and share some of those changes. But yes, um, I was doing it today. And one of the things that I found and I, kind of, I was kind of reminded is that, um, <laughs> is that crypto.com really knows how to make money by adding all those fees guys like if you want to stake you have to enable you have to pay for uh for doing it and then if you want to unstake it you have to enable it again and then unstake it and then uh make some other dumb fees it's insane because i was taking money out from a liquidity pool uh it was the first time i, I i've ever done it from a liquidity pool on bvs finance have to enable it and then unstake it and then from that or like remove it yeah remove it and then to remove it finally to your wallet uh you have to uh pay another fee and, and enable it i'm like oh wow there's just so many fees fees here's fees here's fees here's um but i'm like okay it's fine whatever bear i mean to me it's great to pay those fees when the price of crypto.com is cheap right that's what i believe rather than wait later on for sure so uh i was doing that just kind of revamping my entire scenario hey queen what's going on I'm happy to have you here peace oscar thanks for the broadcasting today of course just wanted to sh uh to stop by for a while and to talk about i mean all these moves that we're having in the market right it's not needed for any crypto YouTuber or celebrity to uh, pump crypto cryptocurrency. It's just not going to happen. It just takes time, right? It takes time and it takes that beautiful um, long-term mental fortitude. That's it. Um, we have another one, right? ApeCoin, guys, which is insane. That's, that's another topic that is coming up. Uh, ERC20 tokens, what can I tell you? Just doing great recalibrated mine to oscar really quick i'm super happy for you let's go appreciate it santa fe if you're watching once again thank you my man appreciate it miguel says i will not sell my shiva inu where's my shiva inu army guys bam don't forget to pick up your shiva inu physical coin if you're a member of shiva army i have it if you don't have it then what's going on <laughs> first link in the description down below Super happy with my friends there for, you know, helping me get one. But um, when it comes to the, uh, with this crypto pump, everybody, um, just got to say that very privileged and happy to be uh, in, in the position that we are right now because uh, for the last couple of months, we've been doing that over and over and over. And it's not that Shiva Inu has to come up with many different news every single week or day because that is, I believe, it's going to be unhealthy at some point. It's great, but I mean, you need just a crypto to do its job and to work, right? Uh, it has to work. During the weekend, I was watching some type of drama with Saitama and other different crypto. It basically, there's some issues there and there's more better news and worse news. I mean, I think cryptocurrency, of course, is, is, is everything but perfect. And uh, Solana with the shutdowns, Cardano with the... I mean, Cardano oftentimes is just too, too many transactions that all, uh, like I I wanted to send some Coinbase, some ADA from Coinbase Pro to my NAMI wallet. It got declined because there's just so much going on. Ethereum with the gas fees. Do you guys know any other blockchain that has issues? Post them in the chat right now. Let me listen. Let me hear from you because you guys know a lot too. Let me hear from you. What other blockchain, right, has issues and you can name those issues? And the reason why I'm doing this, why I'm bringing this up is because if you're expecting a flawless uh, program, a flawless system in crypto, you're going to be very well disappointed. I came here in crypto in 2021 expecting a change in my life, hopefully financial freedom. I know we're going to make it because I'm learning so much every day and you guys are learning so much every day with me. And the idea, of course, is to go through the punches. I think I see this as going through the punches. You can have less punches if you do things a little bit more conservatively, like me, 
uh, where we diversify and, you know, make sure that our monies are safe and we do take our risk, but, you know, we kind of control our risk. But on the other side, you can take as many punches as you can and do penny cryptos and uh, really risk it a lot, which, of course, you're going to have huge profits. In this channel, I tend to favor that leniency where I'm not really that risky when it comes to investment and I try to keep everything pace up and, you know, cap, cap that peacefulness and calmness. Um, but when, understand this, when the time is right and we are bloody red on the streets and when everybody thinks it's a scam, that's when you have to and I have to go, non-financial advice, all in. All in. That's why, remember, May 2021, what happened, right? May 2021. By the way, crypto.com is, is coming up. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more here. Um, May 2021, China banning Bitcoin and everything down. Everything down really bad. Then 2020, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was 2021. That was the lowest we've seen Bitcoin in, in, in almost a year. $29,000. So right now for someone to say it's going to go down to 20, well, I don't think so by, by looking at everything. Like we have a war, that we have inflation, we have uh, legislation, um, executive orders, and uh, countries banning Bitcoin and even countries adopting Bitcoin and institutions adopting Bitcoin and still is fine. So I think, I think we're going to be completely fine, right? Scott, thank you very much, my man. Appreciate that. Love you and you and all your teaching. Let's go. For, from what can be 10 with all the burns Crow has or will have in the future, it, it will help. That's true. Oscar, great to see you again. What's going on, Carlos? Take a look at Tessas. Tessas is another one that, of course, I've heard of it a lot. Good evening, and you all. What's going on top? <clears> hey, <throat> from Vietnam. Happy to see you here from Vietnam. That's great. Mm -hmm. super happy to see you guys here don't forget to smash the like button as you're coming in consider subscribing i'll give you guys a shout out and we're gonna we're getting more people in the house <coughs> for those who are coming in uh, i started talking about waves a little bit how this blockchain is of course right on top of chronos and well it exploded by looking at let me show you this when we come here let me go ahead and refresh and see what we're looking here 2.14, yeah, baby, we're going back. Let's go. Honestly, how surprising, right, to see everything just so high. And it's not even all-time high, just to give you that idea, right? Uh, 18 on, on, on Kronos at 48 cents, 20% in the week, not bad. Um, you guys remember? <laughs> it's lovely to see that. You guys remember how Cosmos exploded to really a high level, really high level? Right now, it's not doing so. So this is something I mentioned before, how uh, other cryptos, like we have all these type of sessions, right? Cycles, better said. Cosmos, Terra Luna, um, who else? Cosmos, Terra Luna. There was another one. I forgot it. But those two had a run together. Now, if I see Terra Luna, the same thing. No, wait. This is the T Terra UST. Here it is, Terra Luna, six, five dollars. Oh, yeah. Not as much, not as much, but still, there's some other ones that are doing better. Michael, Michael Bryan, hey, my man, all those super chats just go back to the investments and uh, back to you guys. So thank you very much, my man. I appreciate it. And welcome aboard to the live. Really happy to see you. We're talking about crypto pumps, some different strategies, and talking crypto today. Just having a great time talking crypto. That's it. Because everything that I'm telling you right now is after so many months of experience. Got to tell you that, right? So, yeah, it's it's beautiful to see how Cosmos and Terra Luna are not pumping as much as other ones that were due, that were due, like ADA, like Shiva Inu, just insane. Shiva Inu Army went crazy, and it's been going crazy right now. FTX, by the way, guys, is I knew FTX, I knew FTX, and I told you, I told you FTX was like, was one of those that it's just doing very well. Um, they had an, uh, a Super Bowl advertisement, and uh, of course, the the CEO is doing fantastic. So, 
FTX algorithm. My algorithm is doing is not doing as as good as as, as I predicted thus far. It's still fourteen percent up in the in, in the week, so that's not bad. But uh, still there is one of those crypto uh, blockchains that uh, it just it, it needs more time to mature. It needs more time to mature. Algorand is gonna be in a later on um, step where it comes in with uh, more DeFi opportunities and, and NFTs, and they will have more TVL added to their blockchain algorithm. Here's Waves at 32, destroying everybody. So let me show you this one, Waves. This is actually what I wanted to tell you. What do we see here? The overview. <clears throat> so letting this load. What do we have here? Can you do staking tutorial videos sometimes? I did. I made a tutorial video for you guys um, on Saturday, I believe. So go ahead to my videos and I made your for beginners, for beginners video. It's right there, my man. It's right there. Great question. I made it for you. Here it is. Finally loaded. I need a better computer and much better internet. I need everything. <laughs> So this is waves. Here it is. So now you're seeing it right now on the screen. So some people are iffy about uh, waves because of these pumps and dumps. Definitely from nine dollars to almost fifty dollars, I think we're gonna be seeing that um, those changes. And a lot of people will be like, "Can should I buy it or not?" Well, if you take a look at some of the comments here on the right, very manipulated, very dangerous token, scammer token. Price is fake. I mean, I, I have it's a blockchain. You know, when you take a look at the TVL, they're adding DeFi opportunities. But other than that, I am um, it, it, sometimes you know it does happen. And by looking at the price, I do not like it. I do not like how it really comes all the way up and dumps really fast. Giving you my opinion there, right? Just providing my two cents right there for sure. So here it is. When you see the price, you're like, what in the world is happening? <laughs> And here it is, guys. Cosmos held up well during the downtrend, which means there was a lot of buying. Perhaps there's some buying exhaustion. Um, actually, Cosmos is great. Allow the uh, through the Cosmos IVC machine, they allow uh, Kronos, <laughs> so it's a big deal. And um, they're kind of like cooling down right now when it comes to the price. I, I do expect Cosmos to do even better with uh, osmosis too i'm not invested into cosmos but i've been following some youtubers and information on cosmos and i know it's it's it's, it's a good one there's many good ones guys right there's just many good different opportunities that you and and i can kind of like if you want lemon flavor pineapple flavor um mango flavor whatever flavor you want you are gonna find it here i think if you are always kind of like working yourself up the uh, percentage, 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 if you're really percentage oriented, if you're money oriented, if you want a lot of money oriented, well, that will put you in the category of a risky type of investor, right? But you also want to get crypto that you know later on will be much higher. And that's what I'm also doing with Tectonic and BBS Finance, right? Putting myself in that position. Not many people know it. I can see it on the views. I can see it on the on the search volume, and um, but I know it still will do fine. Uh, rather than collecting, for example, ApeCoin at this time, which it will have an increase in value, but not as much, not as high as as MF, for example, or MMO. I think uh, having my liquidity pools and my staking applying, you know, that long term farming in um in crypto that will have a higher appreciation value later in my opinion that is a great strategy um not getting the ones that are pumping right now but the ones that are coming in right after so to me that makes sense right um because at the end of the day i'm gonna bring this one up this is exactly what i wanted to what i wanted to tell you right now right great once again to greet we're gonna come we are gonna come back and here's the price of tectonic we're going to come back, baby, and uh, that will be amazing to see. Let's go. Third Super Chat of the night. We have amazing people in the chat. Love you guys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's read it. Is the Crypto.com Obsidian Black Card a good deal if you have the money? 
full I'm going to spend some time here. That's a great question. And that's really highly demanded on, on YouTube. I personally don't talk about that too much because I don't own a crypto.com card. I've been very transparent with that. So there are some other people that do. I may later. I just haven't had the time to do so. If you have $400,000 to stake, um, I think you will still make a lot of money. I mean, $400,000, you can buy a two board Ape Jack, uh, like two board Ape Jack Club NFTs, or you can get an Obsidian that's going to give you 8% uh, APY, and then it's gonna, you're going to have some other perks. I think with $400,000 in crow staking, if you like crow, if you want to do crypto.com only, and if you are looking into not, never paying Netflix and Hulu and Spotify or whatever perks you they're offering you, um, if that's your 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 inclination, if you want to get, you know, the rest of the benefits and have the card, of course, and, you know, just kind of get more perks, that'll be pretty cool. That I think that will be worth it for you. In my opinion, I, I like to do the 12% on DeFi. And uh, if I have the chance, I'll do the 40, uh, maybe the 40,000, which is the IC, if I'm not mistaken, or the 4,000, right? Uh, the 400,000, that's I, I think with $400,000, I better be putting that money somewhere else. There's for sure some people that, I mean, it makes total sense for them to do 400,000, they have more money. But, um, but yeah, I think, and, and from what I've heard, from what I've heard, they've been cutting those rates. And here's another thing. Listen to this, guys. Because this has happened every single time and it will continue to happen. When you're letting a crypto, a cryptocurrency exchange, a CEX, you have DEX, decentralized exchange, and you have CEX, centralized exchange. When you're letting a CEX manage those APYs, it's always going to disappoint you. It's always going to disappoint you. Gemini, for example, Coinbase, for example, they pump that APY for what? So they get more people in. So they get that liquidity. They lock it. I mean, they want you. They want you. I mean, that's how they make their money. Yeah, they are for us, but of course they're for them. So they will change the, uh, the APY. They've done it. Crypto.com did it. Uh, from all the videos that I've watched about the last couple of weeks. So um, at any point, they can change those, those percentages and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Or you can come to DeFi and get way more than that for your money, right? I think with $400,000, there's just so many things that I could do rather than just put it in a nice Obsidian card. Am I correct? At the end of the day, uh, if the card works for you, I think then go for it, right? For me, I think I'll do something else. <laughs> Let's go. Great job and thank you, fool. I appreciate those, uh, that, that amazing support, Matty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Scott, love the tectonic. Definitely making money. Thank you, Oscar. Hey, happy to see that. Happy to see that for sure. Can I inbox Oscar? Of course. You have my email right there. If you have any questions, you can take a look at that and I'll go ahead and reply if I have the chance. Of course, you staked for the Jade last week. Super excited. 1,000 crore away from my first 10,000 crore goal. There you go. Yeah, for some people, it, for some people it does make sense. Uh, I think I'm very geared towards um, that uh, consistent 12% and even more because if I wanted to really break it on, uh, on, on staking, I want to go to MMF. And that's what I'm doing right now, really putting myself in the best position for MMF finance on that stake in portfolio, for sure. What's going on, Freddy from New York? Oh, baby, the only place in the entire nation where you guys have an amazing, I mean, I've never been to New York, but I know the good and the bad, right? <laughs> but it's just a great place for Christmas. That's what I've heard. That's what I've seen in movies. I may be wrong everyone so now that we have a little more people here are we are feeling the shiva inu vibe are we are feeling the shiva inu vibe and the reason why they posted that is because of course the price was skyrocketing and that is exactly what shiva inu does i mean fifteen thousand likes 3500 retweets a thousand comments just imagine what the vibe is going to be once the price does go much higher for Shiba Inu, right? 
In my opinion right now, Shiba Inu is doing something that other different protocols, specifically on Kronos, might want to mimic. So what do I mean? Well, the burning, right? Today, I talked about Tectonic, about the worst possible case scenario. You watched the video. Thank you. Uh, in that, I detailed my research on, okay, we have different cryptocurrencies where you know some of them will burn tokens, some of them will not burn tokens. That also affects the price, of course, if you are price-oriented. Um, if you're talking to Charles Hoskins, I'm from Cardano, he's not going to let you talk to you <laughs> if you talk about the price. But um, because we will do want to make money later on, I think that token burning to allow the price appreciation of a coin and uh, to release some of those tokens that may not be useful um, for and you know transaction fees, whatever people oftentimes just burn them, delete them. Um, and then I will just send them to a dead wallet. I mean that happens in a way. You're shorting the supply, making the coin more what pricey, more scarce, scarce. So uh, that's that's another manual way that the community can do it. I'm excited, right, that uh, VVS Finance is doing, of course, the uh, the vaults and governance. And that's what's happening with XVVS. That's why it's important. That's why XVVS is important because XVVS would allow that to happen if the community wants it. And I'm sure the community wants it. <laughs> I'm sure the community wants it. I'll be voting for sure because now I've done it. I've done it uh, with my VVS. So for sure, I would like to be able to to ask for those token burning for both Tectonic and VBS. For MMF, I don't think it's needed. They have a perfect token supply. There's not really any more to say on that one. So great job. And Waves still ripping. Classic, classic garbage crypto. <laughs> oh man. On this one, 29, and right now we're at 27. My opinion, guys, on Shiba Inu, I still hold a couple of Shiba Inu tokens. I'm going to go to the one year on Shiba Inu and show you guys what we've done so far. I love to see this long-term view. I'm going to remove the Fibonacci Bollinger Bands. And I'm going to show you what's happening here. I wanted to talk a little bit of a, a little bit of a, on Shiba Inu because it's one that, I mean, carries, right? Everyone is really interested in Shiba Inu oftentimes. Some people not. Some people, yes. Well, in my case on Shiba Inu, we really touched from before the pump right here in uh, the end of September 2021. Oh, how beautiful days back then, right? Before all the pump and then all the way here on October, the end of October. So it was a month of craziness in the entire market. Nobody believed it. Everyone made headlines, made news. I mean, even the Oscars, everyone knew about what, what, what was happening, right? These types of pumps usually are fall for uh, uh, they they follow right a, a natural retracement, which that's what we're seeing right now. So the highest price we've seen on on Shiba Inu that we've seen more than a month ago at thirty five. So from that to what we have right now, we need a approximately a thirty two percent to do that. At thirty two percent, oh yeah, thirty percent to get to that point on Shiba Inu. Would that happen? The answer is yes, that's going to happen. At 78% at retracement from the top, that's going to happen. Now, we haven't touched, and here's where it gets interesting, right? Now that there's less tokens in circulation, now that there's more support, now that there's more brand awareness, now that there's more listings, now that there's more partnerships, and now that there's just more utility, can Shiba Inu actually pass the 61 which is at 38, which I'm sure it's going to touch it later on. But can Shiba Inu cross the 50? Because this is going to be that make it or break it song for Shiba Inu, in my opinion. It, it's been a while, right? My stance on Shiba Inu, guys, is that I believe we are probably going to be reaching 301, and then that's going to be a, a nice, delicious price for Shiba Inu. We may pass it by a pump like we did before. But I don't think this is going to be a one cent cryptocurrency, right? I know there's a bunch of videos on YouTube. If I go to YouTube right now and I do a Shiba Inu, it's going to be some dumb, silly videos, not from the actual content creators that are human beings. But oftentimes they have automated videos that are just garbage 
and they tell you when not, what you want to hear. They tell you what you want to hear. And I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm telling you what I think is right and just my own personal opinion, which are not financial advice, of course. And what I think is right is like um, for Shiba Inu to really explode less, uh, less supply and more market capitalization, which that implies more volume. At this point, we've seen that Robinhood is really not in the question anymore, right? Like Robinhood, Robinhood, Robinhood. They haven't said anything. At the point that Robinhood adds Shiba Inu, I think in my opinion, that will be like, okay, there's going to be some volume coming in. Not, I mean, not compared to, for example, Coinbase or, or Binance that it's already there, but just the FOMO. I think that's what's going to be. FOMO, fear of missing out. That's what's going to be with Shiba Inu. I like the crypto. I think it has, you know, still lots to prove, lots to um, give to the community. And there's one, Chiverium, of course, a mainnet. Getting out of the ERC and, and doing something else, something, I mean, from their own blockchain, that will be um, just staggering. And, and uh, a, from a meme coin and from a cryptocurrency for, for the community, that will be impressive. And at that point, I think we'll be looking at passing that all-time high, not by a pump, but actually having some consistent prices heading towards, you know, easy the 23% and the 38%. Because all what's happening right now, it's, I mean, the, that hype followed by the nice altcoin season. It's going to be challenging, I believe, for Shiva Inu to get to the all-time high at this point. But with an altcoin season coming up, that eventually will reach. And with Bitcoin and Ethereum doing very well, there's something there that has to happen, right? Another thing, if, think about this, what's happening in April? Well, we're having the Board Ape Jet Club Metaverse launch. We're having a lot of things going on with Metaverse, specifically ApeCoin. So ApeCoin, as you see in the right now, the script went by Fibonacci Bollinger Bands. It's all over the place. It's another ERC-20, and it's doing really well. I mean, if you think about it, the price, in my opinion, is still very high. But what if ApeCoin and Shiba Inu do something together, right? I mean, if that happens, you literally are going to break the internet. You literally are going to break the internet if Shiba Inu and ApeCoin do something because you're going to be bringing the NFT community and the crypto community in one single place. That is groundbreaking. And that will be a, a first one in a long time, bringing the entire crypto community, mature crypto community, uh, ape crypto community right now. I don't know if you saw it, but AMC and GameStop did amazing, right? So a lot of people going there. And of course, you're bringing in ApeCoin and uh, Board Ape Jack Club, a lot of the NFT people. So that, that could be something coming up later. I mean, I'm sure that they're not closing that option, knowing that uh, Board Ape Jack Club, of course, they also want to penetrate into more different ecosystems. So there is a chance, with everything that I'm saying right now, there is a chance for, for Chiba Inu to keep rising in value, but just not to something that is going to be completely unreal. That is, I think those are my two cents with uh, with with Shiba Inu, right? I like it. I still own a little bit, but um, if I want, you know, some nice uh, long-term success with Shiba, I think we will still really need to see higher prices on this one. And not saying that they haven't done a great time, uh, like a great job when it comes to the implementation and just having some other different partners out there allowing um, the project to succeed. Um, being transparent with the community. I mean, Shaitoshi from the law, from the last couple of uh, mediums that I was reading uh, with the Metaverse, with the Chivaverse. I mean, I think they're trying to do the best they can. So I think that's pending and we'll see where they're going to be heading, right? That will be Shiva Inu fam. Let's go. I'm very happy to have you all guys. Hey, don't forget to smash the like button if you're here and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Go ahead and take a look at the comments right now. What's going on, fam? Great show, my brothers. Love and respect to you all. Thank you very much, Quinn. What do you think about finance IND? No idea. I haven't heard of it. What do you think about Elon project? Seems weird. Got me 100 mil cheap just in case. The Elon, you mean about Dodge loan? 
I have no Deutschland at all. That's a meme coin. I don't really want to own that one. If you make money with it, great job. I know it's available on Gemini. It's available on crypto.com. It's probably maybe available somewhere else. If I'm going to be putting money on this side, my own money in something in something like that, I think has to be Shiba Inu. Other than that, I'm just going to do D5 or some great blockchain. I'm not rushing to. I just want my crypto to really do well. Not really into something that it's uh, heavily speculative right doing the mouse with chrono staking on app and defi crow bbs tonic nice hey chanel mamoon welcome happy to have you here thank you thank you oscar i'm waiting to buy ape at the entry point of ten dollars do you think it will ever get that low i know that's somewhat of a loaded question look my friend it's a great question about apecoin right apecoin all cryptocurrency projects see the worst day, and ApeCoin, in my opinion, hasn't seen it yet. You guys remember what happened with Shiba Inu? Like we're seeing it right here. We may we may be in this graded times for ApeCoin. Now, if you bought ApeCoin, I mean, I wouldn't pro I wouldn't be selling it right now. I wouldn't be selling it. I think it can continue running, but eventually will come down. In my opinion, very down compared to other metaverse coins. Um, I mean, you have many to choose from and they're not that high. Like you're telling me that ApeCoin is more, it, it, it has a higher worth than um, Decentraland Sandbox. Uh, I mean, by looking at the math, it does have it. But um, in my opinion, I think we, we are going to be seeing some lower prices just by the math. Um, I can be wrong for sure. But I wouldn't be, in my opinion, buying with my money at this time. I, I need to be buying this at around 6 to $7. At that price, for sure. Let's go ahead and rip it. Um, it will definitely see some worse days. Why? Well, guys, once again, I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to bring this here. Here it is. Here's ApeCoin, everybody. A lot of people loving ApeCoin, right? 17th of March. It's be, hasn't been a, a year, I mean, a month. Hasn't been a month. Yes, I like this. I mean, I can create a price channel right here and it's growing. That doesn't mean that it's going to keep, that, that's just going to keep growing, right? So realistically speaking, my reach, a price, you know, high enough, $20, $18, who knows? I don't know. But then... I want to be capturing this price somewhere right here on ApeCoin. That's me. That's my, my, my greatest and most transparent opinions on ApeCoin for sure. That's a great question. Let's go. Ricky, do you invest into NFTs? Of course, of course, of course. And I'm, I'm looking into, you know, having buying the metaverse, the land metaverse for sure. Super excited. Next VVS uh, initial gem offering will be Versa Games. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Versa. Yes. Oscar, how high do you see? How high do you see Bitcoin to climb up? That's a great question. Um, that's a great question. I love I love talking about you know those type of questions because then I I have to bring this charts for you guys. Bitcoin rainbow chart. So this is what we're looking right now, guys. I'm going to show you. We have the halving, remember, for, the, uh, for every four years. Every four years, we have the halving. Usually, when we have the halving, we uh, experience an all-time high and an all-time low. And you can see it from here in the, in the chart. Back here in 2012, we have a halving. And then we experience the all-time high of $1,000. Can you imagine that? An all-time high of $1,000 in 2013. I want to... No way. No way. Then it crushed all the way to $279 in 2015. So think about it. It took two years. Imagine buying your Bitcoin at, at $1,200 and in two years holding the same crypto, now $1,000 gone. Goodbye, a thousand dollars. Then your wife, your wife, uh, your your girlfriend, your mom, or whoever tells you, 
I told you not to buy that garbage. Then, but you decide to wait it out and hold, or you forgot that you have one. And then in 2017, just about two years later, $20,000. <laughs> so right now, of course, as we zoom in, we are at 40,000. This crypto is going to be in the next altcoin season, Bitcoin season, if easily all-time high price. Has to be. Has to be. Right? Because that's where we're heading, guys. That's just where we're heading. It's just math, and it makes sense. Right now, on the daily, on the monthly, and on the day and on the yearly, we're not on an altcoin season. So even the prices are great, and we're at 2.14. We gotta remind you that we were at three trillion before everything collapsed. Three trillion before everything collapsed. So that's why I'm like, do not waste any more time, right? Do not waste any more time. Thank you very much. What a great question. Completely agree. Don't foam into Ape coin. We'll come down. We're also waiting for it to come under ten dollars to buy. And yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta remember that I I, I don't own the answers to everything. <laughs> I'm giving you my best, uh, you know, recommendation or type of analysis. Um, I've said it in my first video about ApeCoin that, that it was going to go under and it did not. The reason why is, well, it kind of makes sense. You have all of the listings there and people buying in. And then this month, we're going to have the land, the lands are coming out. So it all indicates that we're going to be seeing ApeCoin high for a while. But later on, it will just come down for sure because that's what all cryptos do and at that point i'm gonna get it i'm not rushing right like right now uh you can buy merch from the more ape jack club and and you can only pay on ape why do i want to i mean if you have an nft right yeah sure but i'm not like oh yeah i have to rush to buy one <laughs> so in a way, that, that's what gives you privilege and access, right? You're making a community, you're making a club, you're making a, everything more exclusive. And for sure, for that, you need money. And for that, you want to make something that you can only spend to it. So it makes total sense. That's why it's getting the price it's getting. So it's not a bad idea. It's just that I'm sure ApeCoin, it will eventually drop. Great job. Great question. Great question. We're having amazing knowledge here. So that is it. And Shiva is coming up. Nice. We love that. So once we have that icon, beautiful season, guys, like just take a look at this. Take a look at this graph. We had in 2020, 82. Then in 2021, 86. And then in 2022, January, 94. We're at 61 right now on the yearly. On the monthly, we were at 88, 86, 80, 94. Right now we're at 43. I am so bullish on it. Like you are, you need to be buying when it's super down for all the outcomes, right? Just makes total sense. Just makes total sense. Let's go. Can't wait for Christmas so I can say crow. <laughs> That's a good one, right? Like it. Thank you, Oscar. Hey, anytime. Of course. Appreciate it. Something strange with ApeCoin. They gave a lot of coins to company for partnerships. And now this company has said they are not responsible with anything happens with ApeCoin or their official uh, white WS. Yeah, I mean, some interesting stuff happening there with ApeCoin for sure. You have 3.5 billion Shiba bought for $100. Can you believe it? I never sold it. <laughs> I mean, 3.5. It all, it all depends when you're, uh, pro, what, you, what your cost average is, right? If it's a high cost average, then probably not a good idea. If it's a low cost average, then you're still making some good money. So that's not bad. Oh, yes. The wave's still up. Still up. <laughs> it is what we want to see, right? Guys. Tectonic today. Anyone saw the video here that I post? Basically, let's go ahead and make it to the day. 
Now you're gonna be able to see everything that I see. There you go. Here it is. Boom. Here it is, everybody. Worst case scenario for tectonic. Done and completed. Mention it. Having 500 trillion in supply, we still can get a higher price from what we have right now. Period. So we like it, everybody. That is exactly what we're looking for for this type of cryptocurrencies. I think it's refreshing to see that, knowing that, well, I know that we are crashed completely and <clears throat> the prices that we are looking at right now are nothing compared to what we can see later on. Um, so that's why I'm, you know, buying it and, and just doing it as fast as I can. Let me go ahead and show you my latest um, positions on BVS and Tectonic and what I'm doing right here. I mentioned I was going to do that for sure. Oscar, can you please give me a quick analysis of B-Chain being stuck holding for years already? Hey, Omar, what's going on? Well, B-Chain supply chain cryptocurrency um, does have partnerships in China. One of the few ones that does have it. I've heard of B-Chain from a friend for, uh, for the first time and I bought it on, uh, on crypto.com. And ever since I've just hold it there, um, not a really... Um, staking it at the moment just holding beach in there and when i have the chance i buy it a little bit on that set it's just one of those cryptocurrencies that does have utility but there's just so many out there that you're like okay so what do i do next well that changes this is what i did here guys so now you're seeing this i'm gonna go to dashboard so i change my stuff i no longer have any farms here I decided, you know what, if I want to earn tectonic, I'm just going to go to the tectonic page and that's it, period. So I'm going to let that load. As always, my internet is, is of course, uh, coming down. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at side of my token is trending. That's not bad. What is this? The MMF crypto it continues to bring new products now with um, Pegasus dollar. That sounds like a stable coin. MMF as always, right? As always bringing new information and Saitama, what happens with Saitama? Is it, is it doing well? Because I know it wasn't doing well. I'm sure it's, it has to be doing well if people are talking about it, right? Well, I have my tectonic loading. Let's see. Oh, wow, 41%. That is why people are talking about it then. <laughs> yeah, Saitama, I believe some people were like, what is it? It's complete garbage. Well, it doesn't seem to be anymore, right? I don't own it, so that's good. Still waiting on that one. Okay, there you go, guys. So here, yeah, I have no mines, but what I have is my vault, and here it is. I did the four years. <laughs> I know some of you guys did it too, so I, I, I've learned something, right? Because you have to first stake your VBS to get XBVS, and then once you get XBVS, then you have a chance and opportunity to stake it, to put it to a vault and to leave it there for a while, right? So XBVS, you come here, and then you have to enable, that's what I've said, a lot of different fees. You enable it, and then you stake it. Once you stake it, I'm gonna move my, there you go. Once you stake it here, you enable it, and then you stake it. Once you stake it here, it's gonna be there for 33%, right? But here's the deal. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot unstake my VBS finance because I will need first my X VBS to unstake. So in a way, they uh, they knew how to work this out to lock people up pretty much. <laughs> the only reason, the, the only way for me to unstake my VBS finance is to have my VBS, right? So I need to see vault, and here is my money. Here's my money. So I, I need to wait until 2026 to be able to un unlock this. So I still i am going to have the multiplier guaranteed. That's what they say, but the APR can change. So <laughs> anyone did the four years, we'll be here for a, while, uh, for a while, right? So that is, you know, one of the reasons why we do this, to get better and nice but you get rewards, of course. Of course, I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't getting anything, <laughs> for sure. So that is, you know, what I did for us and for me. And we'll see, of course, what uh, 
the advantages are for DBS Finance and for uh, Tectonic. It seems that it's growing. Uh, the APYs, they grow as the price grows. That's why Tectonic at one point it was really, really high because the price was higher. So Tectonic and BBS, of course, will grow in price and the APYs will grow, will grow in the percentages. So we're going to be making even more. And that's why I'm excited. If at the prices right now that people consider it to be very low, they're, I mean, above 100%, right? Then, I mean, why am I, why am I complaining about it? <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great. So, yep, I'm staking 100 and 50 million tectonic. I know some of you have. Okay, let's put in the chat right now. How many tonic you have? Can somebody beat me? Can somebody beat my 100 million? I bet I'm the highest here. I bet I'm the highest. 100 million tectonic. I'm sure nobody here has more than me. Huh. <laughs> Most of you are going to destroy me here <laughs> for sure. Most of you are going to destroy me here. Welcome, everybody. Oh, thank you, Dark Class, for you had to speak, Dark Class. You had to speak. You really have 350 billion. Were you trying to say million, bro? 300. Oh, there you go. I'm like, are you kidding me, though? Like, you're going to be in the top row. <laughs> so, yes, right? 3 billion, 16 billion, my man, that is insane, that is insane, let's go here, so I mean, just to give you an idea, right, as far as why all of this is doing very, very well, and Tectonic right there is just doing amazing with the price and the percentages, guys, right, uh, 170%, Two billion at oh man, you bought it super early. Love it, love it, love it. That is insane, guys. Love tectonic. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. Yes, I did. Gonna be the long with BVS while I swing traded on the side. There you go. That's a good one. Mouse one W diamond hands. What's going on, buddy? Happy to see you here. Happy to see you here. Everyone, do not forget that we have. Our Patreon and Discord in the top of the chat if you want. So, right, we just got a new members coming in this week. So, very excited. Want to see all the behind the scenes? Well, don't forget to check all what we have ready the Patreon, all the community. Talk about Shiba Inu, Tectonic, BBS, Crocoin, and many more, guys. And the first link down below, if you are from the Shiba Inu Army, bam, you can get this beauty. You're in the Cardano Army, bam, you can get this beauty and many more coins at your disposal. Let's go, everybody. Super liking this, what we're doing here in the chat. That is insane. Questions, guys. Runs for questions, all yours. That's what I wanted to tell you in this crypto live, guys. That's what I wanted to mention. Waves, crazy up. Classic. Shiva Inu is coming up. Crocoin is doing well. And ApeCoin, $14. Classic ApeCoin. Let me go ahead and check Bitcoin for you guys. How's Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin in the day, 47,000, like you saw it right there. Still doing really well. Still doing really well, Bitcoin. This is for the last week. The last week of a nice bull run for Bitcoin. Seeing it from the 38 to the 48, that's 10,000, everybody. $10,000 increase in Bitcoin. Loving it. You already checked Apes White Paper once. That's nice. Two billion, Gavin. There you go. Where we can get those coins on the DeFi wallet, my friend. I love Tectonic, but also Ape. Check it out. S Ape. Another garbage crypto. Maybe, maybe not. Oscar, why are you skipping my question? Can you please give your thoughts on INB? Haven't heard INB in a while. Haven't checked that one. <clears throat> and I don't know which one it is. INV is, it should be another one for sure. There you go, guys. There you go. So probably by the end of the day, we're going to see even higher prices because I know that's what, it, that's what it does. And that's what we're seeing right now. Let me go to the five minutes here on Bitcoin. 
There you go. You see the five minutes? <laughs> That's insane. I'm a Fibonacci Bollinger, but this is a kind of like a funny type of type of uh, chart. How we see the pump yesterday at 3:40 p.m. from 44 to 46. And then just growing and consolidating at that price. So that's what we're seeing right now with the price of Bitcoin, everybody. In my opinion, this is going to be a great week for crypto. This is going to be a great great week for us. Do not miss any of the updates that we're going to be bringing you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the updates, right? And uh, just continue doing your due diligence and continue doing your research on all of these different cryptocurrencies as we continue heading into a nice altcoin season. I think it's a great time to buy uh, dollar cost average. When you see some dumps, of course, getting more, that's not gonna be a bad idea. And I'm leaving you with this. Where is it, beauties? What is it? Here it is. Oh, I didn't save it. And do not forget to have Shiva Inus, Shiva Inus, Party dance moves. <laughs> Everyone, super happy. Super happy that you guys are here, that you came and supported the, the, uh, the live. We talked about everything pretty much when it comes to crypto, giving more emphasis on Shiba Inu, ApeCoin, and other different cryptocurrencies. You guys already know a bunch of CrowCoin, a bunch of Tectonic, BBS, MMF. So the week is barely starting. Let's see how it ends. But for now, really good when it comes to crypto and even stocks stocks not doing at all bad taking a look at stocks right now as you know i talk about stocks also especially with my exclusive members and on the on, on the discord 1.31 on the nasdaq 71.71 percent that's great if you're doing Roth by your race stocks this is just gonna be amazing for you guys so not selling of course plus i can't sell <laughs> i'm not i don't want to get penalties and in the crypto bubbles what do we see here in the last month finally we are seeing waves still exploding runes it's so many more week and the hour in the week just take a look at all of this can't believe so many different cryptos ada even gala so this is exactly what you and i were looking but in red in january in December, if you guys remember, it was very bad. It was dark, bloody days. Now it's the total opposite. What did you do back in those days? Panic or buying the dip? That is exactly what we needed to do. Everyone, thank you very much for coming to the live. It's time for me to go. But I, once again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below once the live ends. Thank you for all your amazing support. Mommy of the Act and all the mods, Quinn, thank you for all the nice um, donations and the new subscribers. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the team, everybody. More info coming up for you as we continue this week. It's barely Monday. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace. God bless you guys and blessings. What a great time in crypto. What a great time to be alive. Let's just enjoy because at the end of the day, we, I believe we're all going to be, of course, very, very happy and wealthy. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. Peace, everybody. Let's go.